Okay, what is that cell called? Cell. It's a pigmented cell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah. a pigmented cell, what does it have in it? What makes melanin? it pigmented? Melanin. Okay. Same thing that gives your skin color. Mm -hmm. has melanin. Why does it have melanin in it? It's to absorb light. Otherwise, like if you had, if there's someone who's an albino, they don't have the melanin secretions, can't absorb light, it reflects around in the eye. Okay? Dang. I'm hitting this fast so because this see? is the hard part of it. Um, if you see someone that's albino walking around outside during the day, typically they have sunglasses on, mm. so it doesn't let in as much light, so it doesn't bounce around. You can still see, it just would make things extremely bright and blurry. But yeah. Just wanted to explain the purpose of that. So, is it safe to say that the pigmented cell provides like visual acuity, like it makes things crisp and clear, like that's its purpose? Um, is that the job of the? Are you cones? thinking of the cones and the phobia? Probably not. Yeah, because the cones do that too. Yeah. Um, so, what it does? Its responsibility is to absorb light, preventing absorb light, light refraction. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Refract Yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of ring it in so we can cover everything real quick. Okay. Okay. So, photoreceptors. Okay, what they have on them is a sodium channel. In the dark, it is open, and sodium can flow in. Okay, it's depolarization. So if it depolarizes, that means it's going to be releasing its neurotransmitter. What's the name of its neurotransmitter? Glutamate. Glutamate. Which on these bipolar cells have a excitatory or inhibitory response? Excitatory. Inhibitory. Inhibitory? Oh, well, it's inhibitory. Because they're already open, right? Yeah. Um, so this guy's depolarizing, we're releasing glutamate, and it always inhibits. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's just when there's not glutamate, then it doesn't inhibit. But as long as there's glutamate, it's going to inhibit the bipolar cells. What do the bipolar cells release? Glutamate as well. But on these ganglionic, so on these ganglia cells, as a positive response. Okay? So, now the understanding portion of it. Okay? Bipolar cell, it's like a little hyperactive kid. Okay? So you've got your hyperactive bipolar cell. He wants to go share the message that we have light, okay? But in the dark, we have our photoreceptors that are depolarizing and releasing glutamate. That's inhibitory. So this is my photoreceptor hand from above, okay? The parental hand right here. So the bipolar kid, he wants to run up and share the message, okay? Because he does the excitatory thing. So he's like, I'm going to go tell him, no, sit down. I'm going to go tell him, no, sit down. Okay, I'm going to go, no, sit down, okay? So, the bipolar cell is being told, sit down, don't send the signal, don't, 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 okay? So he's saying, don't send the signal. Then... Wait, what's that thing right above bipolar cells that looks just like bipolar cells? This, it's just how a photoreceptor looks. There's uh, different segments so of it. Photoreceptor. Yeah, this is all a photoreceptor. Okay? Okay. So... When this is going to change is when the sodium channel closes in light. And that's that process right there that I'm hoping to get time to go over. Rhodopsin cycle, is that what it is? The rhodopsin cycle, okay. Sodium channel will close, hyperpolarizing the photoreceptor, making it so there's no inhibition. No inhibition, what's going to happen to the bipolar cell? It's going to go. It's going to go, okay. So that's when there's light, we're not in the dark anymore. So when we're in light, no more inhibition on the bipolar cells, making it so it activates so the ganglia cells. So it shuts the sodium gates? Yeah. So technically this is um, hyperpolarization, right? Hyperpolarization here, allowing mm -hmm. depolarization here. Oh, okay, Allowing there we depolarization go. here. Sweet. Okay? Yep. Okay. So it would be light reflects off this, closes the sodium gates, a uh, bipolar cell can send signal and then it goes to the optic nerve. Uh -huh. What is glutamate not being released? Glutamate is no longer being released here in the light. In the light. Okay, so when the light comes. But it's, then it can start being released here. Okay. 
But if glutamate inhibits, why is it being released here? Glutamate inhibits certain receptors, oh. not other receptors. Okay. The receptors right here are inhibited by glutamate. The receptors here are activated by glutamate. Okay. Sorry, I have so my voice said, up. So they said like glutamate like can activate or <laughs> inhibit? Yeah, um, so can acetylcholine, so can any, yeah. just about any neurotransmitter. They can either activate or inhibit depending upon what the receptors do. Okay. 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 Talking about rhodopsin now. Okay. okay. What time is it? Uh, Actually, I got it. Never mind. Sorry. I forgot there was that thing. <laughs> okay. But so, are we still at the optic nerve now? Yeah. That's two minutes yeah. slow if I. Okay. Thank you. So, we're talking about rhodopsin cycle. That's inside the photoreceptor. Oh. Okay? That's this picture right oh, here. Oh, gosh. There's so much. Okay. This, I know. The, okay. eye, the eye is a lot, which is why when you guys weren't positive that about it, that's when I'm like, duh, you got to notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. inside the photoreceptor is okay. this. Is this picture. Okay. For time's sake, I would copy that down later just because you won't be able to keep track of what I'm doing and that. Okay. So I do apologize because this is the one part that's going to have to speed. Is this, this is one of the most important parts though, right? Mm -hmm. Is there an option cycle? Yeah. Okay. Different parts. You have the protein, that purple thing, mm -hmm. that by itself is called opsin. Mm -hmm. Okay. The white thing by itself is retinal. When it's bent, it's cis. When it's straight, it's trans. So cis retinal, trans retinal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly like that. Okay. okay. So when retinal is inside of opsin, it forms rhodopsin. Retinal, opsin, rhodopsin. Okay. So when I'm going to run through this twice. The first time I'm not going to talk about cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase. The first time. The second time I will. Okay. So when he is on, when, so this is cis retinal. Cis retinal is inside of opsin forming rhodopsin. When light comes, he turns into trans. Trans falls off. Cis fits nice, trans falls off. Okay? So when he is on, cyclic GMP is also on. Okay? Cyclic GMP is what has him open. So cyclic GMP. That's what keeps him open. When he falls off, cyclic GMP is off. Okay? Mm -hmm. On, cyclic GMP on, off, cyclic GMP off. Because when it's on, you're in the, the dark. dark. Okay? So this so is in the dark. As soon as the light turns on, that's when it falls off? Light turns on, it changes the bond. Light UV rays off? change it, falls off. Okay. Cyclic GMP turns off, mm -hmm. closing the sodium channel, making it so we don't release glutamate. Bipolar cell, jumps up, runs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Yeah. What happens, so this is a cis form, turns into trans, goes back in here, turns back into cis, and then goes back in here. Okay? Okay. So and when it goes sorry. back in, then it's going to turn cyclic GMP on again, letting sodium in and inhibiting. Question? On the study guide it says bleaching, and that's when... Mm -hmm. 11, that's when the cis turns into the trans and falls out. That's what yeah. bleaching is called, right? So when there's enough trans that mm -hmm. it takes time to reset, that reset time is during photo bleaching. So when GMP falls off, that's when there's light? When retinol, so this is retinol, mm -hmm. falls off, cyclic GMP turns off or decreases in activity. And that's when there's light? Correct. But this can happen when you still have light, right? Because we were talking about how action potential can be happening in lots of different areas, but then this has to start over. Correct. It's on relative amounts of light because not every single one in your entire eye is going to happen at once. Only amount. Increasing light would increase the amount of um, the cis to trans. Okay. Okay. So that was the first time. So it resets, hooks back on, cyclic GMP turns back on opens the sodium channels, start inhibit inhibition. This time I'm going to use cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase, okay? So cyclic GMP phospho 
diester ace. Do you remember talking about esterase one other time? Acetylcholine esterase. Breaks so mm -hmm. it breaks things down. What this is doing is it's breaking a phosphate off. So it's de-energizing something. Okay, so this is an inactivator guy. So what happens is when retinol is in cis and it's on, so it's during the dark, cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase is not doing anything. He's not inhibiting cyclic GMP. When the light comes in and he falls off, retinol falls off, it activates this guy to go inhibit cyclic GMP. Okay? Because he falls off, cyclic GMP is going to turn off. So Which the guy that turns him off. Sodium channel. Yeah. So the guy that's going to turn him off is activated during that time. And then it resets. Turns back. So if retinol is on, back on, right? What's going to cyclic GMP is will be so on or off? The alpha on. cell on. will go back. And then when the Give me one second. But the phospholipidiris turns him off, so, so then this, this guy will be off. So this guy is off if cyclic GMP is on. So turn it back on, you have to turn off the phosphodiesterase, and then the alpha will go back, and then it will turn back to cis. Correct. It, it cis first, okay? Cis causes this Overall, guy. Overall, it's kind of just like one thing, right? It happens like so fast, it's just like one big thing. Yeah. Okay. Except for the reset does take time. Yeah. Because it takes energy, right? Mm -hmm. Does it take energy for the trans to go back to cis? Mm -hmm. Trans to go back to cis, but not cis to trans. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to um, understand. So, how, oh, sorry, were you? Um, just, I'm trying to try to help their understanding first. Sorry. You're totally fine. So, this is the thing, okay, when you're saying off and on, I'm starting to get confused. So when this is on, this is closed. So so cyclic GMP is mm -hmm. what causes him to be open. Oh, open, okay. So when he has increased activity, and the problem is I'm simplifying because I'm trying to do it fast. Mm -hmm. Cyclic GMP, when oh. it's on or increased activity, this guy's gonna be open. He binds to him, opening him, okay? okay. When cyclic GMP is off or decreased activity, he will close. Okay, but in order for him to close, this light has to come in and he has to mm -hmm. turn so, off. So light comes in, turns this guy from cis to trans. Yeah, you can take off. Okay, sorry. So back to trans. Okay. Okay. So he's about to fall off. So what's cyclic GMP do, gonna do? He's going to turn off. So this, Cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase turns on, inactivating cyclic GMP, turning him off or decreasing his activity, closing the channel. Okay, and then he he's off. Then the energy has to turn, make this go straight again, uh -huh. or, or bent again. again. Has to bend it again, so it can go back in. Once but it goes back in, but then how does he turn back on? So once he goes back in, we mm -hmm. turn this guy off. Okay, turn off. Letting him turn back on and okay. open the channel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 